Welcome to another episode on the Gaming Investigators channel. Today, discussing the main issues that are closely related to the title of this episode, we will look at a bit of a colorless character who, unfortunately for us, is an example of a protagonist without any characterization. The aim of the episode itself will be to analyze and understand why Claude is such a protagonist and not another as well as why there is no background in the form of an interesting story from Claude's past, such as in the case of Tommy Versetti, Nico Bellic, or Victor Vance. We wish you a good time, and now, let's get to work. And so, in the beginning, it's worth saying a bit more about the origins of Claude and the history of his identity. The name of the protagonist of GTA 3 has not always been known. That's because, in GTA 3, we will not find a single sentence where the name Claude appears. The main character was usually addressed as Fido, or the handyman. The first term was used by Maria Latour, but it's worth emphasizing that the name of Claude as Fido by Salvatore's wife was not meaningless, and it suggested to us that the man shows great loyalty. In addition, the word Fido in Italian means trust, which also clearly orients us to the whole context. Yeah, 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 I'm sure your new lapdog has everything covered, and isn't he big and strong? Hey, Fido, let's go visit Chico and get some party treats. He's at As for the latter term, it was attributed to Claude by Asuka Kassen, who simply emphasized that Claude could handle any problem. Anyway, before the creation of GTA San Andreas, many people called the main character of GTA 3 Claude Speed, all because of a very similar appearance to the protagonist of GTA 2, and the very fact that the character also did not say a single word in the previous installment of the cycle. Well, unless the utterance of words can include farting and belching, then okay, our mistake. Because these are the only sounds that came out of that man. Moving on, it wasn't until the release of GTA San Andreas in 2004 that many players experienced a major epiphany. It turned out that Claude was just Claude. But despite this, the community in most cases, unfortunately, ignored this fact. Still incorrectly calling Claude, Claude Speed. Years later, on the occasion of the 10th anniversary of GTA 3, Rockstar North decided to publish several articles, where they answered players' questions about this title. One of these questions was the identity of the main character of GTA 3. The developers referred to this topic twice. The first answer was very ambiguous. Information was passed there that Claude's last name could be Speed, but not necessarily. Hence, and as you can probably guess with such a statement, there's absolutely no certainty that Claude's surname is Speed. Therefore, it's safer to accept what is certain, that is, the very name of the protagonist. What is very important and what Rockstar talked about is the generally accepted principle of the universe. This topic had already been discussed many times, but since it's a key thing, let's recall the definition once again, shall we? Well, in a nutshell, characters that exist in one universe have no right to exist in the other. Of course, there were some exceptions during the development of the series, which are the so-called universal characters, about whom we will try to make a video someday. However, we'll say in advance that Claude definitely does not belong to such characters. Despite all these arguments, many people still identify Claude as the protagonist of GTA 2, which, as we mentioned earlier, is simply wrong. Even we sometimes make this mistake by accident and add the surname Speed to the name of the main character of GTA 3 due to the considerable similarities of these men to each other. Moving on, we will discuss why Rockstar ultimately decided to abandon Claude's voice. To visualize this, let's imagine it's 2001. GTA 3 comes out for the PS2 console and we start playing this game. At the very beginning of the storyline, we are shot by Catalina and then, throughout the entire plot, Claude does not say anything at all. In connection with the event that we talked about a second ago, probably the most popular theory among players on the subject was created. A certain number of people, especially those who may not have played GTA San Andreas yet, are stuck in the misconception that the reason Claude is mute is that he was shot by Catalina. To be precise, the protagonist got a bullet in the neck, which seriously damaged his vocal cords. Yes, it's a pretty neat explanation, but after passing the rule stage in San Andreas, the whole elaborate theory is, unfortunately, only suitable for throwing away. There, we can see that the man still does not say a word, which ultimately rules out the theory that Claude lost his voice during the intro of GTA 3. In case anyone was wondering, the answer is very simple. Although GTA San Andreas came out three years later than GTA 3, 
The events that are presented to us there are happening in 1992, so a total of 9 years before GTA 3. This fact definitely explains the matter. Ok, then what we know is that Claude was mute from the beginning, but the question remains, why and how did it happen? One of the explanations that have appeared on this topic is a serious accident that happened before the action of GTA San Andreas. Yet another possibility is that Claude has been mute since birth, and while these are much more likely scenarios, they are still pure speculation. Over the next few years, as the GTA community began to take a greater interest in beta content, one of the first GTA 3 trailers was spotted. The whole world turned upside down when the phrase, get out of the car, was captured on the trailer which also appeared at the time when Claude steals a car. Get out of the car! In the blink of an eye, all players took it for granted that Claude was originally intended to be a talking protagonist. The topic has become very controversial. It was so loud that Rockstar North themselves decided to refer to this matter. The creator said that, the recording is a mere fake because the voice was probably added by someone from the network. What's more, the developers, importantly in the context of the rest of the episode, noted that they never had plans for Claude to be able to talk. This is interesting news, and it's not all. Now let's take a look at one more statement of the creators. This time it'll be the answer to an open question from the player about why Claude is mute. Rockstar replies here that nowadays it's rather natural for talking characters to appear. But that wasn't always the case, especially in open world games. Another valuable piece of information is that the developers allegedly had a lot on their minds when creating GTA 3. As a consequence, they decided to focus on creating lines of dialogue for NPCs, abandoning this issue in the case of Claude. A sensible argument here was that the player can better empathize with the character he plays himself, somewhat adding to himself what he would say after the words of other characters. These answers contain several truths as well as lies. First, let's look at the teaser. Here, Rockstar correctly pointed out that the substituted voice does not belong to Claude. Whether this was the case, it was solved recently because it turned out that the voice we hear in the trailer is the voice of a pedestrian from GTA 2. However, the fact that the creators did not plan to create a talking protagonist is not true. We found out about it thanks to the recently revealed Holy Grail from GTA 3. This document, as we've talked about in other videos, covers the entire design process of the game until the end of 2000. A lot of beta content was found in the document, especially when it comes to the original course of the story missions. And it was there that several leftovers of Claude's lines of dialogue were found. Claude's first dialogues were supposed to appear at the beginning of the Give Me Liberty mission, which is shown on the screen. The next dialogue can be found in the Chaperone mission. This time, Claude was talking to Maria Latour. In addition to this fact, we also have a curiosity that shows that it was Claude who was supposed to buy Maria's drugs from Chico, not the other way around. This is where Claude's dialogue ends. After the creators began to create the plot on Staunton Island, the concept of a talking protagonist was simply forgotten. As you can see, Rockstar no longer wanted to play with it, and yet, despite everything, they did a lot of lines of dialogue for less important characters and pedestrians. An interesting thing, isn't it? However, summing up the two missions we mentioned are already proof enough that Rockstar North had plans to create a talking protagonist. The problem is that they quickly gave up on it. The only strange thing is that, for some reason, they kept this fact hidden for so many years. It's a pity that, in the end, Claude was left without a voice. We believe that it would not be perceived so negatively by the players then. Well, it's no wonder. In the end, the players got a colorless character, showing no emotions, and they didn't learn anything about his life other than what was shown in the storyline. Summing up today's episode, we can say with a high degree of certainty that Rockstar North approached the issue of creating the main character of GTA 3 very carelessly. The creators did not design to take matters into their own hands and properly make the protagonist of GTA 3. They preferred to convert the main character from GTA 2 into a three-dimensional version instead of creating a new model. As if that wasn't enough, they eventually gave up the concept of talking protagonist, which is the main reason many players simply did not share any sympathy with Claude. And while Rockstar intended to create a character that any gamer could relate to, they ended up doing quite the opposite instead. Instead, 
we got a protagonist who is almost filled with no personality, and his decisions are based only on trite motives, which, in our opinion, is simply bad. And if you want to hear about other secrets from the world of GTA 3, we recommend you watch the episode about Joey Leone now. In the meantime, thanks for being with us. Take care, and see you in the next episode. Bye!